What's going on guys? This is gonna be a E46 M3 POV driving video, but before I get into the driving clips, I just wanna preface by saying, if you like how this car sounds and drives, the only thing done is an Eventuri intake and then a Status Grup Scorza Section 3 muffler. And I also have a Build Journal B-Spec tune, but in terms of sounds, if you wanna replicate that or if you like how it sounds, that's the mods. Uh, I highly recommend both of those things because an Eventuri won't break the bank like a full CSL intake and you get about half the uh, induction noise as a CSL and then the status grunt muffler adds the perfect depth to the exhaust note but also makes it the perfect um, loudness. So highly recommend those two things if you're trying to do some exhaust and intake mods to the E46 that complement each other. I think the induction noise into exhaust noise works really well on this car. You don't get overpowered by exhaust, but you still can hear it. So just want to preface the video and let you guys know that if you're not familiar with my channel or this car. All right, so I got my new suction mount. So why don't we go for some uh, good driving clips? I guess you'd call these POV, sort of, kind of, but these should be a lot uh, better to watch than the head mount because I'm a little too tall. So it kind of just looks up at the sunroof. So this should be a lot cooler. <laughs> Driving an E46 M3 is basically one of the most fun cars you could experience by BMW. Um, so I like to take it out back here and rip it. And there's of course always traffic, which is really obnoxious, but driving this thing spiritedly is the way it was meant to be driven. There's literally no doubt about it. It is so enjoyable and so much fun. Uh, it just It's so planted in the handling and everything. I would love to take this thing to the track one day, which uh, I'm, I'm planning on doing eventually, but it's just, it's such a clean example that I feel bad taking it to the track and just beating the hell out of it. But maybe one day I'll make it out there or I'll buy one specifically for the track. You never know, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna try to get some good clips back here if the traffic uh, lightens up. Hopefully that hyper stabilization on the GoPro Hero 8 uh, is pretty good because it might be a bumpy ride on these coilovers. Like it just takes these corners easy, like there's no, like no uh, instability, you know what I'm saying, as the GoPro falls. Finding this thing out is like crazy. It's like going all the way to like 8,200 RPMs just doesn't feel right, you know? No car I own has ever had even close to that, you know? Like it is so weird. Like my 834, the rev limiter set to 6,500. Compared to 82, that's like nothing, you know? It doesn't sound like a lot, but those extra like thousand plus RPMs make a world of difference. And it's just insane to rev this thing out. I couldn't imagine what a boosted S54 would feel like being able to have like 20 PSI and then 8,000 RPMs like that would be a monster and, and like no wonder why they make 800 horsepower like super easy because that is just madness. trouble real quick with this car not as quick as the turbo e34 
but you're definitely in trouble really easily. This car just loves to be driven, you know, thrown around. These things are the happiest when they're being driven hard. This car hates to sit. Like, if I let it sit for like a week, that cold start, it, the car is so mad. Like, you could just, it just, it's not that it hardly wants to start. Like, it, these things start right up. It just runs like super rough when it's cold, like after sitting for a long time. And I feel bad, you know, I mean, I've only put 840 miles on this thing all year. I pulled this thing out in probably April and I put 840 miles on it. That's why I'm trying to just kind of go out and have fun right now and as much as I can before I put this car away, um, get those miles on it. I'd like to put at least a thousand on it. That shouldn't be too hard to do, but it's just with all the other cars, it's just so hard to find time. Like I was saying anyway, before I did that pull, you just, there's like, this thing sits in the part of the garage where we always park a car in front. And because of that, it's always kind of tucked away. So if I, if I gotta like leave the house, it's like, well, I don't want to move that car. I'd rather just take something else, you know? And I'm so OCD about this car and like keeping it nice and clean. And I hate leaving it like out in public. So for example, I don't take it to like class because I don't think I'd be able to sit through class with uh, this thing sitting outside, it would just make me so nervous. Um, I know that's a really bad way to treat it, but that's just how I am. The weirdest part about this car is when you press the sport mode, you can feel the car ramp up. Like, I don't know if you guys could tell through the video, but when you press that sport button, the car will just jump forward. So if you're not ready for it, it'll probably scare you, which is really funny. I messed up and set this GoPro uh, up with the window like cracked, and that's like what was like the best shot. And now that I'm driving with the window up because it's too windy. So now I'm kind of in a spot of, oh well, hopefully this is a decent enough camera angle. Feels good to be putting miles on this thing. You know, like I said, I don't drive it often and I feel bad for it when I don't drive it. So, stretching the old legs on the E46, trying to get her to uh, 75,000 miles before the end of the year. We're at 74,946, so if I can't get the 7,500, that'll be just plain sad, but we should be able to get there. It's getting dark. I kind of picked a bad time to come out here. It was a little late, but uh, hopefully I got a decent amount of clips to share with you guys. Uh, just having fun in the E46. So might may add some other stuff to this video. Um, who knows? I'll see what I want to do. Let's hit this corner. Wasn't much of a corner, but whatever. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna head home, sun setting. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, these driving clips. Uh, when I watch back this footage, I'll see if this camera angle was any good or not. Uh, if it was, let me know if you liked it or if you prefer a head mount, you know, I can switch it up for when I am doing driving stuff. So let me know. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See ya.